Resale prices are down 1.4% in June. Sales are low. Median TOX is a negative $5,000. But District 11 bucks the trend. What's there to like about District 11 property? Next on XTV with your host, Mark Loon. Good day, I'm Mark Loon. In June, buyers in District 11 paid $9,000 more than the X value, whereas the overall market paid $5,000 less than the X value. What do buyers in District 11 see that caused them to bid up the price in June? I've come to the community basketball court outside of Novena Square to find out. But first, a roundup of the news. According to the SRX price index, non-landed resale prices dropped 1.7% in June. This is a low not seen since December 2012. Prices are down 2.7% for the first half of this year. And prices have declined 4.7% since the index's peak in January, when prices temporarily spiked. June sales in the resale market were up 7.9% compared with May. However, total volume is still low at an estimated 452 units sold. Monthly sales are down 78% since the peak in volume of April 2010. The market's median transaction over X value, TOX, continued to tick upward but is still in negative territory. At minus $5,000. In June, buyers paid $9,000 more than X value for District 11. This was well above the market's median TOX of negative $5,000. District 11 consists of Watton Estate, Novena, and Thompson. The Pan Island Expressway bisects District 11. District 11 a de desirable place to buy? Yes, Angela. The District 11 is located in the central region and it's also considered a prime location after District 9 and 10. And the homes in the District 11 is less expensive compared to District 9 and 10. And also, uh, especially in District 11, the uh, area in, in the uh, Novena area, uh, there are shopping malls at the uh, Novena Square. Furthermore, that uh, most of the apartments in, in, in the uh, Novena area is quite near to the MRT station, which is the Novena MRT. For comparison purposes, let's go to the SRX analyzer to compare District 11 prices with that of District 9 and District 10. I select sales. I customize for five years. I then select District 9, 10 and 11 for non-landed only. The yellow line is District 11. Today, its average PSF is $1,576. In comparison, when I add in the green line for District 10, you see its PSF is $1,828. This means District 11 trades at a 13.8% discount compared to District 10. It's interesting to note that in 2013, District 11's PSF was higher than that of District 10. The cooling measures have created a buying opportunity in District 11 not enjoyed by District 10. For reasons described in an XTV episode airing in May entitled Why is District 10 outperforming the private resale market? Check this episode out in our XTV archive at srx.com.sg xtv. You'll find it in the private resale category. Now let me bring in District 9. It's the blue line. District 9's PSF is $2,057. We see a similar trend in both District 11 and District 9. Both districts have experienced a similar decline in price. The difference, of course, is District 11 is 23.4% less expensive than District 9. Hi Winston, why do you think District 11 is a good place to rent and live? So, if you're looking at the rental yield, uh, between this core re uh, district uh, 9, 10, 11. In fact, district 11 gives you a better rental yield. Yeah, so yeah, this is good news for investors. When you talk about living in district 11, of course, it's an interesting place. Right? I think uh, you know district uh, 11 is actually covering an area from Bukit Dima, 
Nandian and uh, Novina, uh, Newtons as well as Chandri. And it actually have a good mix of uh, landed cluster housing as well as uh, the condos, of course. Right? And uh, he, this area also fills with uh, popular schools, JCs, and even international schools. So, uh, and they come to eateries, you have plenty uh, over here, this area, as well as sh uh, shopping malls in the uh, Novina area, right? And uh, of course, this is always a very popular area for expatriates, you know, because, you know, you only take five minutes to drive down to Orchard, and, you know, if you 10 minutes, you, you will hit Marina Bay Financial Center, which is most of their working place, their offices, and so on. So, well, you're leaving. It's only here in District 11, and where you work is only 5-10 minutes away. Sure enough, the SRX analyzer shows that District 11 does have a higher rental yield than the other two districts. Today's rental yield for District 10 is 2.94%. District 9 is posting for 3.06%. And District 11 has a significantly higher rental yield of 3.52%. Now let me put on the screen a diagram of the North-South Line. If you commute to and from the Central Business District, Novena in District 11 is two stops further than Orchard in District 9. That's about four minutes longer on the train. Today, by adding four minutes to your commute, you can save an average 23.4% on the purchase of a non-landed home in District 11 compared to that of District 9. And my trusty SRX analyzer says you can save an average of 7.2% in rent. Not bad. And that concludes our look at District 11. For all the number in June's private resale report, please visit us at srx.com.sg slash price index and srx.com.sg slash research. Thank you for watching XTV. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe to XTV Singapore on YouTube. Have a good day.